Woodturning tip number one: How to avoid this. The other day, somebody dropped in here and showed me his new tool handle he'd made. Pretty proud of it, and I must say it was a pretty nice handle. He had done the the, the basic course wood turning over here, so he was pretty proud of making his first handle. But then at the end, he said he showed me how the tool was fitting into uh, the handle, and it wasn't in the middle. And if you made a perfect handle and your tool is not in the middle, that is really terrible. <laughs> so, how to avoid that? The answer is very, very, very simple. Do it the other way around. First drill your hole, then make the rest of your handle. I'll show you. <laughs> These blocks are going to be handles. So what we first do, first we drill a hole in the wood on the drill press. There's the pre-drilled piece of wood. Normally what I like to use as a life center is this type of center. There's a pressure ring over here and it is has a point but to uh, do uh, to mount these blocks in the lathe i would like to have a cone mm. and now there's a cone and you'll see in a minute why because this cone is going into the hole mm. and then and on the other hand on the other side i have a uh, safe center. Safe center is also nice because if you do this in production, if you if you do this whole carton box uh, in one morning, um, then it would be nice if you don't have to stop the lathe all the time. Mm. So what you can do is start the lathe, put your piece of wood on the turning center and there you can start no shape yet first we take the ring this is just ordinary copper water pipe and it'll do a great job in holding uh, the tool in its place. So you can buy all kinds of expensive fancy rings but you don't need it for this purpose. Um, we know that the inside of this ordinary copper water pipe is 20 mils. So I'm going to make a sort of a tenon on this side that is exactly 20 mils. There we go. And to do that, I use a spanner. That's just over 20 mils. Because if you measure this uh, on spanner number 20, uh, it's just a little bit over the 20 mils. So let's... That should be 20 mils, just over it. And if I just scrape it one more time and give it a little chamfer on this side, it should fit. Is it long enough? No, it isn't. Now I can take it out, look if it's sliding, 
and it's going. It's going, but it's going. Well, not smooth. That's good, that's good. And the last piece I do with the hammer. Uh, this is cast iron that I have drilled a few holes in. For this 22 millimeters, for example, it fits in here. And if I slam it, it's on there. And now it is very tight. So always remember first this ring and then your tool in it. Because the ring is meant to keep the wood together. If this ring isn't there and if, and if I put there, if I, if I hit my tool in there, the wood certainly will split. This is the handle we're making. And if you're making lots of these handles, um, you want to do it quick. So let's see how we do that. It starts, of course, by just making it round. Now it's round. But now I have to get these measurements. Here I have a piece of wood and these lines I transfer to the wood. That's the highest point, that's the deepest point and there's the sharp edge. The deepest point I know is 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters. This is where the deepest point is. There's the deepest point. Now I take my skew. Yeah, if you, if you make a, oh, I made a mistake. If you make a, a proper cut with your skew, it gives you instantly this sort of a, of a sheen that's yeah. coming on the wood. And you only need um, uh, 240 grits to finish it. Wow. But at the same time, I have to say, I made a little mistake because this part has to be a bit lower. Two forty cent paper. Put speed down a bit. And if you want to, you can also um, send the copper, and it will give you as if it's new. So let's get the thread chaser in there. This is the thread chaser, and it's going into the vise. And there's the handle, and, and there's the hammer. One more. And there it is. All right, nice. No glue, just smash it. That's it, thanks for watching, bye.